Over the 19 years I was in prison, there were a number of guys I was locked up with who were freed because of new DNA evidence or witnesses recanting their testimony or evidence of prosecutorial misconduct. Robert Davis was convicted of a brutal murder he didn't commit after police interrogated him for six hours straight and convinced him that if he would just admit to the crime, he could go home. Thomas Hainsworth was convicted of a terrible crime he didn't commit, despite not matching the description given by the victim. And there were plenty more that I didn't know personally. So especially in light of the Supreme Court's recent decision to not be willing to consider new evidence based on an ineffective assistance claim, we're literally saying that we will put innocent people to death if we continue to have a death penalty.